Hey, what's going on, Flash Mob? It's your boy Flash, and I'm back with another Honey Books tutorial. And today we're going to talk about how you can create and use contact forms to help you book more clients. Run the intro. If it's your first time here, welcome. My page is all about helping you take your passion and turning it into a paycheck. So if you're a filmmaker and you're really trying to learn some new stuff and move along with me on my journey, this is the right place for you. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but anytime I see something that I really like and I feel like it's gonna help you guys, I'm gonna make a video and share it with you. And HoneyBook is just one of those programs that I feel like I need to share with you guys because within the last few weeks of me using it, I've seen my bookings increase by substantial amounts. And I'm not even joking with you. So if by the end of this video, you wanna go ahead and move forward with HoneyBook, I am able to give you a 50% discount off of your first year. So make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that. It's gonna be in the description below. So let's talk about contact forms for a minute. So for me, there are three main reasons that I would use a contact form. Number one, to gather client information. Number two, to pre-qualify those clients to ensure that I'm the right fit for them. And number three, it helps me to enter people into my sales funnel. And the thing I've been preaching to you guys all this time is staying organized. So if I can do all of that in one shot, then yeah, I'm gonna do that every time. So let's open up HoneyBook and see how to make one. All right, so the first thing as always is gonna be to go to our tools and go to templates and this is where you're gonna find your contact form so let's just click on one and let's see how that looks so we'll go with my flash for contact form nice and easy so the first thing I always want to know is your name who am I talking to and then I want to gather some contact information so like your email and phone number the next most important thing for me is a project start date and then I list out the type of options that they're able to select from. Now this part is actually really important when you wanna start entering people into a workflow. So we'll come back to that in a later video. Another thing that has become more and more important for me and my success as an entrepreneur is asking people what their budget is. So I'm gonna take a second here and show you guys how I set mine up. So I'll put in a few different options here that speak best to what I wanna do. So I'll put numbers here that let me know that if they don't want to pay at least this amount, I'm probably not the guy for you. And it moves up incrementally depending on the project. And this just gives my clients an understanding of what they're expected to pay to use my services. Another thing that's really important is how did you hear about us? Again, you really want to start tracking information in terms of how you're gaining clients' attention. So if they're contacting you online, if they're on your website, if they're getting it from word of mouth or Facebook or whatever, you want to start learning exactly how people are finding you. Then I just want a little brief description about what they actually need done with me. So pretty simple. And let, let's just say, for example, you want to add another section to your contact form. You just go down to the plus button and you can add it really anywhere that you want. So let's go ahead and try one here. And it gives you different type of blocks or questions that you're able to use. So let's say, for example, you want to add a drop down. You can just click there and we'll have a drop down here. So let's just say you want to know what or let's say how many people are involved with this project just like that and then you can select your options here but we don't have any yet so we'll go to edit options we'll put option one we'll say one two three four Cool. So now we have another question set up here. And then when they click that drop down, they're able to select how many people are involved with this project. Pretty simple. Let's just do one more for example sake. So you can also add content. So if you just want to add some text or photo or something along those lines, you can do that. So let's just add a photo just because. We'll go here. And if you've uploaded anything before, you'll see everything that you've ever uploaded on HoneyBook. I'm gonna go with this one. This is a weird crop, but you make it work. And just like that, you can add a photo or anything else that you wanna do in there. But for me, 
the questions that I already put into my questionnaire here are the most important ones that I want to know so that I can use them later to my advantage. And when you're done, you go ahead and you save it. So you save publish changes. I'm not going to do that this time because I made some changes that I don't want to do. Then what you can do is go ahead and head over to your designs. So you're able to change the colors. So maybe you want to change the text color, the background. Uh, let's do something funky like red just to see an example. You can change it to red. I'm gonna go back to black because that, that's kind of distracting me. The font colors, all those kind of things. Usually I would recommend to change it to exactly the color of your website. So if your website's black, make your contact form black. If it's white, make it white. If it's purple, make it purple. It's just so that it fits in properly with your brand. You can also choose your different fonts. I'm gonna keep mine the same, but they have a ton of different options here that you can choose from. And of course, if you wanna bold anything, you can bold them also. Really straightforward. And then if for whatever reason you wanna send this link out directly to your clients, you could just click on copy link here and then just send it directly out to a client. When you're all done, I'm gonna hit undo again here. I don't want any changes to happen. But when you're all done, you're gonna hit this publish button and it's gonna give you a code. Now I work with Squarespace, so I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to do it with Squarespace. So you'll copy this code, then you'll just head over to your Squarespace page. You go to your pages, I'll show you where it is on my contact form. So you go down to contact form, you hit the edit button, wherever you want it to be. Let's just add another one for the example sake. So you'll go to add, and then you'll just go down to code. And in this, You'll click on the end of here. You're gonna select all of this, hit paste, and, and copy that code directly into your page. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna connect your form to your website. So let's go ahead to my website and fill out the contact form and do a quick test. So we'll make this test. And this will be my email. Fake phone number. Start date will be today. Do you want to get a music video? Their budget is four to ten thousand. My kind of client. How'd they hear about us? We're gonna say Instagram and tell us more about your project. I need a really dope music video made to help. Now that's gonna submit and automatically open up a new project in my HoneyBook. So let's go back to HoneyBook real quick. Go over to inquiries and boom, there's a test project right there. And when you open it up, you see right away all the information that was left in your contact form. So everything right here, exactly what I needed to know, great. So you can also head over to the details where you get a little bit more information, the title, the type of project, the date, if there was a location, you get a location and just that little blurb that they wrote the first time anyways. And then really from there, you start working them through your pipeline. But we'll talk about all of that in another video. So the reason why I recommend that you guys always use a contact form is because it helps to eliminate all that back and forth within your DMs or WhatsApp or email or any other ways that you communicate with your initial clients. What you wanna do is get them into your pipeline, get them in a project, and that way you can easily move them along so that they actually book. It also makes it so much easier for you to weed out who's serious and who's not quite so ready to use your services. If somebody will not take the time to go to your website and fill out your contact form, that's a really huge red flag letting you know that these guys are probably not serious about getting this project done. So don't even waste your time. And finally, it helps get them over to your workflow so you can start automating your interactions with them. And that just removes so much additional work from your shoulders. But yeah, that's gonna be it for contact forms in HoneyBook. If you guys have any other questions, make sure you go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And just as a reminder for anyone that is interested in moving forward with HoneyBook, there is a 50% discount for your first year in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that. But that's all for this video, guys. Make sure you always remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy, guys.